Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. The UK is still in lockdown during the COVID uh, pandemic and I am in pretty lo-fi mode here in my room at home. I am sitting looking out on a beautiful sunny day actually, but I am staying indoors despite the lovely day outside. I am staying indoors to teach you Spokey Dokey by, uh, well, from the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack, which I know a lot of people uh, enjoy and would like to learn. I've had lots of requests for it. You've got Tim to thank for finally, finally convincing me to do a lesson on this. I'm going to try and give you as much as I can, as quickly as I can. So in the YouTube lesson, I'm going to run through the first section of the tune and basically stop when I think it's getting pretty long and maybe, you know, a sensible time to finish the lesson. If you would like, you can purchase a premium lesson on the full song, so learning absolutely every note from start to finish. Um, so there'll be a link beneath the video to find that premium lesson if you'd like to. Before we get started, if you'd like to support my channel, please, please click subscribe and also the little bell, which means that you'll be told every time I upload a video, which at the moment is two or three times a week because I ain't got anything better to be doing. I'm stuck at home. So loads of free lessons going up at the minute. So what have we got here? Well, I have got my tab. Well, I've got two pages of tabs that I've spent this morning working out. There's loads of stuff going on. I've also got this program called Transcribe Open, which is going to help me slow the program down. There's other programs like that called things like the Amazing Slow Downer. I think there's other versions. I think you can maybe even slow down on simple music uh, playing programs now. Um, and I have got a D diatonic harmonica. If you want to play along with me and with the original tune, you'd need a D. But the tab that you'll see on your screen, you can play that on any key of harmonica. You'll just be playing the song, <coughs> excuse me, in a different key. Um, so that's what we've got to get started. Let's run through as much as we can. So let's have a little listen to the track and see what we're getting ourselves in for. So... Unaccompanied harmonica to begin with. Some cool stuff. So the first section of the tune is like that. Later on, there is a guitar that comes in. So I've kind of split into part one and part two. Part one is just harmonica on its own. Part two is once the guitar comes in and it gets some something closer to kind of the feeling of a, a song with, with some sort of rhythm. Um, Adam Gusso did a good little intro on YouTube. Part of the reason I, I'd never bothered with this because there was already a video, but I haven't seen something that goes through the whole thing. So uh, without further ado, I know I'm waffling. Uh, let's have a little crack on. So I'll play it each section, each line, and I'll play it a bit slower using transcribe, and then I'll kind of talk it through with you. So let's go with part A. Okay. <laughs> right, so we've got a three draw, and then a two draw, and then he bends the two draw, and goes to the one draw. But that's just the notes, right? Well, what's happening rhythmically, so. So he's kind of slapping that three draw, so. If he's lip pursing it, then he's kind of starting with a broader mouth and narrowing it. And if he's tongue blocking, I think he's kind of actually slapping the tongue on. Kind of like that. But then he's straight onto the two. And I put some vibrato on. I'm not sure that, I don't know if there is any vibrato on that first little bit. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit. And then at the end, he's kind of doing a roll off. So he, he's bending the two and sliding to the one, which is a classic blues kind of roll off. And I'm doing it so quickly there. But if I slow this down, half speed. Can you hear that? But it's so, I mean, that was down to quarter speed by the end there, 25%. I'm 
there's going to be loads of those in this tune, those little kind of roll-offs at the, at the end of lines. So that's how he starts, and it's all pretty free-form. You can't really tab it out in music, musical uh, notation and in, because there isn't really a sense of meter and a sense of bars in it, although um, it's still very musical, you know. Uh, so that's line A. And then line B. <laughs> so... Now I have... It's got the same three notes three times, or the same one note rather, three times, but I've tabbed it out kind of interestingly, I think, because I've put two draw and then three blow and then two draw. And then it again rolls off that, that two draw at the end there. But he's also slapping every one of those notes, so... So there's lots going on in just a, in a very small space and with, with only a few notes. So if I slow that down... If you look at the tab, there's loads of notes there. So the SL is just slap, um, and then the three blow is slapped as well, and then the two draw slapped again. Uh, vib is the vibrato, so... And then obviously the roll off at the end. If you're not, and, and this applies as we go through this lesson, if you're not getting the vibrato, if you're not getting the slaps and the little subtleties, there'll be that extra bit of what he's playing that isn't included. You'll be getting something like the note, something like the melody, you might be getting the rhythm, but there'll be something missing. Um, I have a free YouTube lesson on vibrato. I have a tongue blocking course, um, a premium course, which if I remember, I will put in the um, description on the, on the YouTube uh, video if you want to get those. I'll be talking about them throughout this lesson. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of how to play them. Uh, I'm, uh, it's more, more important that I talk about the tab of this song. Um, but bear in mind, there's quite a lot, a lot of that included in this. Okay, so I'm going to have to kind of crack on and get through these lines as quickly as I can. So line C. Okay. <laughs> so look at my tab version I've got here. I've written variations at the end of that line because I've written basically the same thing three times because if you want the bare bones of it, it's, it's just... So slapping the two draw three times and then going to the blow kind of chord, if you like. Does that three times. But if you slow it down, there's kind of little changes. I mean, if you really wanted to be pernickety, slight rhythmic moves of where that, that kind of slap is and sometimes it feels like the slap is before the the single note and sometimes it feels like it's after just based on quite where he's putting it and um, not to the point where it's worth putting it in the tab but if you really want to be get inside there feel free to um get as close as you can with that and then uh line d Okay, this is where it gets really busy. Let's slow that down. And I've had to chop them up into small chunks where possible. It's really free-flowing and um, sometimes hard to decide where to do that. So line D is an example of that. Okay. And again, you'll see I've written false warble, and I've written that later on as well, that's because it sounds to me like he's trying to put a warble in, or there's a suggestion of a warble, but it's not really there. Okay, so we've got... So 
So it, there is a warble at the start of the line, a trill between three and four draw. Maybe bending it a little bit. And then four blow, four draw bend, four draw. And then sliding up to the five draw, kind of just ripping up the harmonica. And then the five draw again, which sounds to me like a, a slap again. And then five blow, four draw. So up to that point. But that four draw, that's where I think that's what I'm calling a false warble. Let's have another listen. Can you hear that? It's, it's like a little pulse in there, but it's like he, he tried to go four, five draw, but it's not quite sounded, the, the five draw. Kind of like a rough warble. So that's why I've put in uh, my little notes for the video, uh, false warble. Um, you could just play the four draw. So it'd just be four draw, four blow, four draw at the end there. That leads straight on to line E. It's pretty relentless at this point. So let's uh, have a quick listen to line E. Finally a little break for a breath at the end of that line. Let's slow that down. That's the notes. Let's listen again. Okay, slow it down even more. 35% we're down to. Okay, so let's do up to there. So we've got kind of three and four draw, and then three and four draw, and then four blow. And I think he's doing a war on that blow. And throughout this tune, he does quite a lot of that, just a little hand wah on the four blow. Um, I've got a free YouTube video on hand wah, hand kind of um, shapes like that, so do check that out if you want to know more about that. He may be doing that at other points, especially when he's slapping the notes. It's very common to slap a note and do a hand wah at the same time. So. You know, right at the start there, um, line A, he could be doing it there because it gives that extra kind of rhythmic sort of thing. I think Gusso in his video put, puts a kind of hand um, thing there and you, you'll kind of hear that throughout as well. Um, so, first part of line E. So, up to there and then So, so four draw bend, into the four draw, four draw bend again, very subtle I think three draw and then four blow. You almost don't hear the three, it's that quick. Here it's maybe there, um, and then... Uh, where am I? Looking on my tab street. Um, so basically kind of three, four draw, three draw, then four draw, and then a five sliding down to the two. Um, right at the end, the two draw, he puts quite a big vibrato on it. He's got a lovely vibrato. It's one of the things that I really like about this. I mean, in a way, it's kind of messy, but there's so much emotion in it and so much heart and soul and his tone's nice. Um, he's unpredictable, he's unconventional, but he's got a lovely vibrato and that's something that you hear 
a lot in the tune and towards the end of this line again that two draw puts a really sweet vibrato on it so you want to try and kind of ring out that vibrato as much as you can. Okay, uh, we are, what, more than 10 minutes in and uh, we're only on line E, let's crack on, so line F. Okay, better slow it down. Okay, first section. Okay. So he's playing a three and six blow octave. Again, you can learn that in my tongue blocking course. Then he goes to the five draw. He's maybe playing the two and five, not, not technically an octave split, but two and five split, or just kind of slapping the note. And then five blow, four draw. If you wanted to just play the single notes, six blow, five draw, five blow, four draw. Um, at that point, sounds a little bit like one of those false warbles to me. And then to the four blow. See that last bit. So after that four blow, little bit of a scoop on the three draw. So starting with a little bit of a bend and releasing. So. And then. So five, four draw, sorry, three draw, four draw, three draw. Four blow, four draw bend, and then four draw that just slides down, slide off the end of the harmonica. There's quite a lot of those kind of slide-offs. The free form kind of process or, or format, if you like, of this tune means you're going to have to spend a lot of time getting these licks inside your head. I mean, I've only just worked this out today. I'm trying to pass it on to you so that you can, can learn it. I haven't memorized it by any, any uh, stretch. I, I just tabbed it out this morning, written it down, printed it out, and um, hoping to pass it on to you, but there's so much going on that you're gonna have to go slowly, step by step, especially with this first section where it's all, there's not even any timing kind of thing going on, there's nothing keeping the beat. Um, but that said, you need to hear the tune, the lines from me, hear them slowed down, so I'm gonna keep cracking on. So uh, line G now, I think we're up to. Okay. 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 So we're sliding up to the sixth draw. As we hit the sixth draw, we're trying to bend it. So start on a bit of a bend and, and release it. Uh, excuse me, don't play the five. Okay, and then goes to the six blow, and he's slapping that six blow. You can really hear the rhythmic slap, and then back to the six draw, five draw, four draw, and uh, then a sneaky little five draw and a four draw again. Let's hear that. hear that so so five draw four draw sneaky five draw four blow so a little bit of a three draw bend kind of scoop if you like the releases four and five kind of blow and then four and five draw. So I think he's kind of around hole four, 
that's the melodic note if you like but the five is creeping in on there and it runs straight on into line H again this is one of those kind of really long sort of bits okay so okay let's slow that down So three and four draw warble, and then four blow, four draw bend, four draw, four draw bend, and then three draw four blow. And then again, straight on into line I, these could have all been one marathon sort of line. <laughs> and then a breath, finally a breath. Let's hear it line I a bit quieter. Oh, quieter, quieter, slower. <laughs> So three and four draw warble again. He tends to bend the notes a bit when he's warbling. He's kind of really pulling on them a little bit. And then four blow, four draw with the scoop, and then four and five draw three times. And then on the fourth time he plays the four and the five draw as a dirty kind of double stop, he's then sliding down. I've put these slides down to the two He's, the landing note isn't isn't kind of important in this um, context. It is just about kind of you know rolling off that note. So it um, just kind of, but it sounds to me like he kind of gets down to maybe the two. So that's what I put there. Okay, we're about halfway through um, the uh, first section. So that feels to me like a sensible place to finish this YouTube lesson is kind of running on. There's so much to get through. There's a whole separate, uh, well, second half of part one, and then there's all of part two, which is once the guitar comes in, and it gets kind of in a way maybe even prefer part two, because it's really sweet. It gets really, really nice, but also really kind of dark and bluesy at the same time. So. If you'd like to learn the full thing, I have put together a premium lesson which you're welcome to go and have a look at and buy if you'd like to really take on the full song. There's a link beneath the video for you to find out more about that. I hope that this has given you something to get started with. It's uh, been a bit of a mammoth job today and then recording on the same day, so it's all kind of uh, still going through my mind in a crazy sort of way as this tune tends to do when you get into it. But I hope it's helped you. If you have enjoyed this video, it really helps my channel if you subscribe and if you click the little bell, then you'll get told when I'm putting out a new video. And at the moment, I'm putting two or three a week because I'm stuck at home. So uh, do please go and subscribe and click the bell and like the video. And of course, put your comments. I'd love to hear um, what you think of the tune and what you think of the tab and uh, I uh, wish you good luck with it. Until I see you again, good luck with your practice. Cheers.